hi guys this is it welcome to another video today i'm going to be talking about nike m max 270 Before I go into the details of the shoe, I would like to announce the winner for the giveaway that we had for the Michael Kors wedge sneaker. The person who won that sneaker goes by the name Temi Tokpe from Nigeria. Temi Tokpe, congratulations to you. I'm really, really happy you won that shoe. Okay, back to our Nike Air Max 270. The Nike Air Max 270 sneaker was originally released on February 1st, 2018. It was named 270 for the 270 degrees of visibility in the air unit around the shoes and was inspired by the Air Max 93 and 180 shoes. The upper part of the shoe is made from woven and synthetic fabric, which provides a lightweight fit and airy feel. Looking at the midsole, the white part is made up of foam. And because it's made up of foam, when you put your leg inside and you're walking, it gives it balance and stability. The back part to the heel of the midsole is made up of rubber. And there's something about the heel. It has an added 32 millimeters to your height which means that's about 1.25 inches extra added to your height so for those of you who want to raise your height just a little bit i mean you can go for the sneakers it will help you it will take you up a little bit i like it because i mean it's not like i'm short but <laughs> it just gives me that added height and i love it okay and right here i have this one it's called the Air Max 270 Golf. It has the same design. The colorway for this one is gray, black. You have the white, you have the orange mixed, and you have the like a turquoise blue. Right inside, you see it's written Golf. One unique thing about this shoe that makes it the, the Golf Air Max 270 different from this one, the normal Air Max, is the upper part. If you look closely, you see that on the Air Max, it has a mesh fabric, but on this, on the Golf one, you have the mesh fabric, but it's covered. It has a flexible overlay that helps keep out water and makes it easier to clean. But that doesn't mean that because the mesh is covered with waterproof overlay inside the shoe will not be breathable it's still very breathable even in the hot weather you're not going to feel hot inside and the weight there's a difference in weight for me i feel like the golf is heavier than this one the normal one the normal one is lighter while this is a little bit heavy and if you look right under the sole you see this unique design pattern it was designed to enhance grip during rotational movement when you're playing your golf this sneaker is slim it's kind of narrow compared to this one because of the fabric of this one you can maneuver your leg inside if you have a wide feet but for this one it's more compact but that doesn't mean that if you have a white fit you can't wear it you can wear it but just have it at the back of your mind that it might be slightly tight just around the corner so for sizing it's true to size but before i talk about the sizing i have another color of the air max 270 golf the color ways is white and beetroot and it has pink right here, just at the heel. For sizing, it's true to size. They are all true to size, but I would advise that for the Air Max 270, the regular 270, the Lifestyle 270, you get your normal size. But if you want to get a 0.5, all good especially if you want to wear to the gym you want to wear socks so it gives you space right inside so a 0.5 will work 
for this it's true to size what i would advise you should get a 0.5 especially if your feet is wide so that the feeling of tightness around will not be so much especially when it comes towards the front because when it comes towards the front it's a little bit thinner so that's it for me talking about the nike air max 270 please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to see my next video